Hello. Yep, hope you're well. Man. <laughs> this has been the best IPL ever. That's what I reckon. IPL 2023 will look back on and will think, wow, how so very good. It's been just magic. Game after game. Think back to the start of the tournament where, you know, towards the beginning we had like all these last over finishes and we couldn't get enough of them as well. Just when you thought, whew, that was close. You know, there's so many of these games sometimes can just fizzle out. One team wins comfortably and away you go. But so many of them were just so close. And then as the tournament went, you thought, yeah, maybe, you know, we've had as many as we can have and that's just going to be it and then some are going to run away and the others are going to be out pretty early and it's going to be you know let's wait for the round drum and stage to finish and then away we go let's see who wins it nope right up until the last game of the round robin stage there were teams sitting there waiting and yes there was one last spot but still that was fantastic absolutely loved it now did you choose those four or not? <laughs> Did you think it would be Gujarat Titans, Chennai Super Kings, Lucknow Super Giants, and the Mumbai Indians? Wow, I thought they'd blown it, you know, I thought they'd blown it. I thought that was it, they were gone somewhere halfway through. I thought, oh dear, not again, not a season like that for Mumbai once again. They're in. Um, I've told you this before, actually, in um, previous uh, little ramblings, that I thought SRC and DC would be up there. Halfway through, I thought Rajasthan Royals would definitely be in there. I also, another team that I thought, you know, would get it together, could get it together, and end up somewhere in there, and I called them the Dark Horse, um, was the Punjab Kings. Um, all of those teams, nope, no thank you, not in there. Um, in the end, you'd probably say nowhere near, but that wouldn't be true if we're saying it's been closed for so long, right? Yeah, but quite incredible. As you always look back on the tournament and you try and figure out, like I try and figure out anyway, what's kind of sticking in my mind, a couple of things. First thing is how the rate of scoring has been so high. Um the number of 200 scores, I mean, ridiculous. The end, end of the stage, right? End of the round robin stage. What you get, you get a couple of games where that's what's on the go. 200 scores galore, right? To finish it off, almost as if to make the statement that 200 is the score to get. When I say it's the score to get, you got to know how to chase it. But when you're setting, you can't just be happy with getting 200. You got to get a lot more because teams have become quite comfortable in chasing that in good conditions, as Mumbai, Wankere, and Bangalore, uh, Chinaswami are very good for batting conditions. Anyway, that's one thing. It means, therefore, that batters have kind of, <whistles> off they've gone, and it's time for bowlers once again to come back. And that's what we'll be looking forward to next year. Uh, the impact player and its impact influence, don't know. Um, I think the aggressive option is because of it. I wonder if we'll return to 11 aside. Because as I said, eh, before it even was put in place, I, uh, as in before the season started, I said, I think impact player means 12 aside, essentially. There are teams that probably haven't used it as well as they could have through this season. Um, I suppose because it's the first time. But I wonder if we'll go back to 11. Um, or has the needle moved and it only moved forward and doesn't move backwards? Um, it'll be a review, I'm sure. Um, governing council or uh, cricket committee, whatever it is, will sit and review it and see whether it's worth going forward with or not. Um, I suppose going with the rules and the regulation, maybe a standardization of those TV challenges for the um umpire so that there's some sort of guidelines. So it's not just a... Um, what do you call it? Like a discretion thing. If it if it's a discretion thing, then the discretion really is kind of whilst the guy's on the field, isn't it? 
Mm, yeah, those are the two things. They'll be reviewed. We'll see how they go. Um, yeah, just as I sit here and I think about it, the needle moves and I don't think it moves back. So we might kind of be going ahead with the impact player. So the 12v12 and maybe hoping that teams will use them better next season. What about the players that have done well? Um, who comes to mind? Who do you think of? And you sort of try and go through the teams, I guess. Um, maybe I, I'll go through it systematically as you think about opening batters and opening bowlers and, and what's happened. So opening batters, um, weight of runs, uh, you probably go Virat Kohli and... Um, and Faf Duplessis together, but they haven't qualified. Uh, and so, as you watch that, wonderful, watch them play, actually. Um, technicians, um, yeah, legend of the game, Virat Kohli, and wonderful captain, is captain well, um, Faf Duplessis. Um, and yet, they've, they've just missed out once again. Then, um, Guy Quad and Conway, brilliant, brilliant. Just brilliant. Strike rate's really good, actually, for those two. And something that's, I, I think, it sort of flies under the radar. And when you think about it, and you think about Guy Quad and how he's gone, it's the number of sixes he hits. And so I think there's a definite aggression in that partnership. Uh, one, and together they kind of surgically tear you apart. Um, you don't feel like they're smashing you because of the way they play. But I think he hit, what, 23 sixes? Yeah, Rudraj Gaikwad. 23 sixes. That's good going. Mm, wonderful pair, those. I wonder if they go all the way. Mm, not sure. Then who else up at the top? If you're thinking up at the top, uh, standing out, two young guys, two young Indian guys. Um, Shuman Gill. I love watching him play. Oh, beautiful. Elegant right hand, just languid and tall and oof, wonderful strokes. Uh, he seems to have worked it out. He's been in form in the last little while, hasn't he? For India uh, as well, and not just one format, all three formats. So yeah, good signs. Uh, World Test Championship coming up as well. And then yeah, Shasvi Jaiswal, man, how refreshing! It's been fantastic. It really has been fantastic watching him. Um, really good strike rate. What a Scored more than 600 runs, um, striking at more than 160, and team doesn't get there. You know, it would have been nice to watch him another couple of times, at least. But it's not to be, so such is life. Move along. But yeah, uh, certainly a talent to watch and, and hoping that he can do it again next season. So not just a one-season wonder, and you have to these days, don't you, in order to show that it wasn't just a purple patch or just a fluke um needs to do it again then to the other side the guys who have to bowl at them opening the bowling and and having you know and having to strike up at the front Trent Bolt continued with the way he goes um striking he didn't play all the games so I'm not sure if that's just a fitness issue or you know what's up there but they'd have liked to have him all the games I, I think um that said, they had a, a well-rounded sort of bowling unit and cover when it was necessary was there and they seemed to do okay. It's kind of the batting that let them down, isn't it? Uh, in, in the crucial time when they kind of tailed off at the back end of the tournament. Mohamed Siraj, Mohamed Shami. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Love their endeavor. Absolutely love their endeavor. Honest performers, wonderful triers. Uh, wholehearted try as I should say and fantastic you know that they're in the wickets economy really good as well so yeah ex excellent work from them and then bowling at the back end I was just thinking that uh, Matisha Patirana man absolutely ridiculous and just bowl the back end of the game nowhere else um, yeah that's just for me kind of stood out and has got better and better that pace it's it's what we didn't realize he had the pace he, he's got pace and so that makes a big difference and continually there'll be the comparisons with um lasit malinga 
but uh, I reckon he's that bit quicker than Malinga used to be. Even when Malinga was starting, I know Malinga was quicker, was quick, um, and would you know skid on to guys and would have a bumper as well, and and then that wonderful slower ball, and so he was successful. But yeah, this guy started quite nicely. They think that it's just kind of what is it, second season, and this this is kind of a season where he's really shown that he can be the man. That's I think fantastic. Um, Another guy I'll mention, actually, um, is Akash Madhva. Nice story for me, you know, 29 years old, and you're into the big time, and yeah, I think next season they'll be able to use him that bit more rather than um, kind of wait and wait and wait, unsure of what they have in terms of um, their resources in, in, in their camp. Um, out of necessity, I think, in the end, they ended up going with him, but... He's done a, a good job, so so that's good. Um, it's always good to see these young guys as, as as they turn up. Then into the middle of the game with spinners, and and I say middle of the game. When I talk spinners, what I think about actually straight away is I think of uh, Heinrich Klaassen and the way he played them. Absolutely out of this world. Some form. And that team, the Sunrisers, struggled all the way through, but he was a... A shining light, absolutely brilliant. Nearly 450 runs, and what did he strike at? I think he uh, 180, even higher for, against the spinners. But I think about 180 through the tournament. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and I hope that continues, of course. And then um, for the spin bowlers, generally you'll you you kind of look towards Rashid Khan, and yep, once again Chahal, you look towards him. Yep, once again he. He's there and, and doing good things. Guy I think did particularly well is Ravi Jadeja. I think um, as he's been important to to CSK and he's back in terms of his spin. I don't think last season he bowled particularly well, but this season really good again. And with the bad contributions in the field, is back back to that all round player and that player we know to be so wonderful. But the guy I focus on when it comes to spin actually is Piyush Chawla. Oh, man. Oh, old man river. I like to use that that phrase, old man river, because the river keeps on flowing. You know, doesn't stop for nobody. And it, when I say keeps on flowing, I'm talking about wickets. How about that? Hey, twenty wickets, and he's going at just seven point eight ones. Like he's rolling back the clock. And this has been his best season. How about that? Hey, unbelievable. I think it's. Absolutely fabulous. Um, I was talking about the new ball, actually. I forgot one guy of, of whom I'm a big fan. And he, he comes from that team again, ended last. But here he is with numbers that are, are pretty good. Um, what did he get, 15 wickets this time? Booby? I think more, maybe. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I think 16 wickets, actually. And this year going at 8.3. So, yeah, uh, not, not his best year. But in a season where runs are being scored 200 and so forth, so 8.3 is really good because if everybody goes at about that, what do they get? Um, 160, 170. If everybody's going at 8.3-ish, right? So wonderful season again. What an operator, man. Swing this way, that way. Got a yorker, got the bumper, slower bumper, everything. Oh, yeah, wonderful operator. Um, and then... The story of the IPL for me is Rinku Singh. Um, yeah, Rinku Singh. Just in China, not in China, in Kolkata, to hear the whole crowd chant Rinku, Rinku, Rinku. Oh, just unbelievable. Really is. And he's a real talent, you know. Um, not just the guy who comes in and will just bang it out the ground. That that's that kind of sells him short. Um, he's more than that. Lots of sixes, twenty nine sixes, I think he hit this year. But nearly five hundred runs, uh, scoring at one hundred and fifty, rescuing a team, a team that. When they get towards the back end of the game and it looks like, oh, 
this is too much. If he's there, then they believe. And even the crowd will believe. Even you at home, I'm sure, when you're sitting there and you're watching and Rinku Singh's still in, there's no number. It does, no number that seems impossible because you think he can do it. And even when he doesn't, like a couple of times, you couldn't quite get them over the line. You seem to think, oh, he should have. Because that's how good he's been. Man, what a story. I reckon, yeah, that's it. For me, uh, this IPL, as I say, has been the most, most exciting. has been the best one. And the stories keep on coming. The things that the tournament does. The things it does for young players. I've only just kind of dipped my toe in there with the things I've been saying. But as I say, Rinku Singh and that story. I wonder, I wonder if he will don the blue of India. When's the 2020 World Cup? 2024? I wonder. Mm, I would not be surprised. I haven't mentioned Sky. <laughs> Best in the world. Um, who else to mention? Let me think. Uh, perhaps I'll go with um, Mohit Sharma. Also, comeback. You know, I was talking about Piyush Chawla. Yeah, also a comeback. Lots of wickets. Um, who's going to win it? I think that's the question. Who's going to win it? As we sign out. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to make a choice here. Put my head on the block, so to speak. And I am going with a repeat. Yep, I'm going with a repeat. So you know, I hope you know this. If you didn't, I'll give you some information. It's either going to be Gujarat or Chennai, according to history. According to history. Because when you finish third and fourth, it's a bit difficult to play those three games. Mm, so close together, it's a bit difficult. But, whilst I say GT, listen, this year has been a turn up for the books, man. It's just, there's nothing you could predict. Because you go one way, it goes the other. Who would have thought it would be these four, right? Who would have thought? So, I've gone with GT. I want to know who you're going with. GT, CSK, LSG, or Mumbai Indians. As I sit here, I wonder. You see, the other three would probably be fancied. I wonder if LSG do the trick. Two new franchises. Here they are, making waves. It's just their second season. Yeah, magic. Catch you next time. That's it. I'll keep thinking. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Send me your comments as well. What have you liked about it? Cheers for now.